The economic blockade of occupied Crimea is still going strong, with no end in sight. The region's indigenous Tatar population is angry. They say the Kremlin-appointed officials are benefiting from lucrative trade ties with the Ukrainian mainland. And it's these same officials who are cracking down on their group at home, including killings of Tatars, quashing their media and banning the group's commemorations. Those camped here demand and hope that the economic free trade zone will soon be abolished. In the meantime, all freight has been stopped. Rail links to a strategically important chemical factory cut. And next, there are warnings that the electricity supply could be targeted. The deputy head of Kherson Region's police department on September the 30th said this. The blockade continues 100% and the train line to the Titan factory has been shut. A meeting has been called to coordinate blocking overland shipments in order to improve coordination. But the more time the blockade goes on, the less patience the truck drivers have. The route between Crimea and the Ukrainian mainland is a lifeline, generating millions of dollars in revenue every year. In response, hauliers have descended on the historic Black Sea port city of Kherson, leaving residents furious. The vibrations through the old buildings, coupled with noise and exhaust fumes, are becoming hard to bear. The diversion of traffic into Kherson has proved the blockade has been a success. But as activists unfurled a massive Ukrainian flag at one crossing on Wednesday, there is still one unanswered question. How will Russia respond?